I know, I know, I know. I would be mad at me too, honestly. I've been gone for four months. I don't have a good excuse as to where I've been and what I've been doing. I got a new hair color, so a lot has changed. I've been done with this living room makeover for a while at this point, but I've been like going back and forth on where I wanna do this intro. Like, do I wanna do it with this background, this background, or this background? But ultimately, I went with this just to be a little bit more mysterious on how it turned out. So if you guys wanna see how I transformed my living room and my kitchen, then just keep on watching. So before we go any further in this video, I want to warn you guys that my air condition is crazy loud. I didn't turn it off in some clips that I should have. So if you hear that constant noise in the background, that is my air condition. So sorry in advance. In future videos, I will try to remember to turn it off more often. <laughs> Hi guys, today is October 5th. This is kind of like the before, if you will, because it's already like completely furnished, but it's going to be completely transformed. So this is the before, the couch, the chair, the side table, and the lamp is all gonna be going to my mom. In about 30 minutes, the movers are gonna be showing up to collect up all that stuff. I will pop back in and show you guys what the movers are up to. So the movers came, they wrapped everything up, and then as soon as they left, I went ahead and swept everything, and then I went over it with my Dyson just to make sure there was no like dust left over. Everything was just delivered, the chair and all the pieces to the sofa. Believe it or not, I forgot to measure this wall before I actually got the sofa, but it's going to fit based on the measurements, but I also didn't measure it that well, so we're gonna see. I'm gonna be putting together this this sofa and chair later on tonight. I have a few things that I need to do first, so I will see you guys in a few hours. The sofa! This sofa is from Albany Park, and I am so excited. Albany Park actually gifted me this sofa, and I will be doing a video talking about that in more detail in the future, but like this sofa is life. I literally love the color. It is amazing. It is honestly giving grown vibes. Like white was grown, you know? The white couch was grown, but this is like grown, grown, you know? Oh my gosh, you guys, I just finished putting it together and it is beautiful. Look at Chai, he's so cute on the sofa. I am so happy. I can't wait to start decorating everything, putting it together, making it a whole place. I just finished laying on it and it is so comfortable. It feels so homey, but now I'm about to put together the chair and yeah. I'm so happy with the sofa. I'm now putting together the park armchair also from Albany Park and oh, I love it too. So here's the armchair all done. It looks so good. Like I literally cannot wait to decorate everything. We have the Cova sofa and the park armchair already. So now let's get to decorating. It's like a whole dilemma because I actually want to paint this wall or wallpaper. I'm looking at wallpapers and it's gonna be be at least a thousand dollars to fill that whole wall so now I'm thinking like I just need to buy a can of paints and paint the wall the accent color that I want I actually went through a few options I was gonna get let me just show you guys slap paneling which I thought would have been really cool and it goes with the vibe that I'm looking for but this to fill up this whole wall first of all it's not like long enough the length wise it was gonna have to basically be lifted off of the ground a little bit or off the base of the baseboard that was gonna look a little weird and then to to fill up the whole wall. It was gonna basically be about $1,200. This is an apartment, this is in my home. I mean, depending on how you feel. But something like that, even if I buy a home within a few years, do I really wanna take that and put it on another wall or is it just trending? You know what I mean? So I was thinking maybe I shouldn't do that. So I went and I looked on Etsy for wallpaper in that same kind of style. And that was expensive too. And I wasn't quite sure it was gonna look real or if it was gonna look cheaply done. The reviews were saying that it looks really good. Like it looks real, but you never know. What's the saying? Something meets the eye. It could be in the eyes of the beholder basically. And then I was thinking, okay, maybe I can do something like this. It's like a textured linen style peel and stick wallpaper wallpaper but I did the pricing for that and I would need about seven rolls and $150 each for seven rolls a thousand fifty so I'm just like I just want like a can of paint you know what I mean however I looked at my lease apparently I'm not supposed to uh, 
let me read it to you guys actually unless authorized by statute or by us in writing you must not perform any repairs painting wallpaper carpeting etc i sent an email to see if they're gonna allow me to paint the wall but i was asking my mom my mom is in town by the way she's over there but i was asking her i was like i probably should have just painted and then asked for forgiveness when it's time for me to move out uh, because if they tell me no it's like a done deal you know but i can it's fine i can if they say no then i'll just make a diy which i'm still gonna do this anyway a diy painting um like abstract thing i'm going to do that anyway but that'll just be all that'll be on that wall instead of like an accent color but anyway just wanted to update you guys on that okay so we just made it to home depot we decided on these two and they look completely different on camera they're completely different look at that like why does it look like that anyway so it is completely different than these <laughs> the way it looks on camera but these are the two colors that we're going for and i'm gonna pop a picture up on the screen of like the style of wall even though i think that's done with like venetian paint but these are the two that we're going to go with we're trying to decide between flat and matte because they kind of look very similar all right so we got all of the supplies for painting this to paint like the trim oh by the way i mean you guys probably can tell but i got word back from my apartment and i can paint and wallpaper but yes yeah, so this swatch is going to dry a little bit darker it's still wet but this is the other one this painter's tape and then the kits for actually painting. So these are the two pillows. I'm actually thinking like a tone on tone, but like different tones. This isn't the exact color of my couch, but I think this will look nice for the style that I'm going for. So I think I'm gonna get three of these. So Crate and Barrel was a success. We headed back home so I can get started with painting. I took off all the socket covers and then I started taping, which took a lifetime. I did this little hack where if you put tape on the paint roll, it gets rid of all like the extra fuzz that would be on the wall so make sure you guys do that but after I got that done I painted the base color of the wall which was such a beautiful color but that's only step one so that's all I got done for today this is the darker paint that I'm going to use to create that look that I was showing you guys I bought some oh here they are some cheesecloths which i'm going to use to create that look hopefully and then i put my picasso hat on and started mixing up some paint ended up adding way too much black but it was okay because i ended up adding that mixture to the darker paint and then remember the picture that i showed you guys of what i was going for well that did not transfer onto the wall i made a disaster so let's watch that okay so these are all the tries honestly I had an idea of what I wanted it to look like and that didn't translate into what I actually did because that looks more like leopard. We tried again. Well, my mom tried this one. I did that one by myself and then my mom tried that one and then I watched a video and I did that style but that's too dark and then I tried this one and that's too dark. Then I tried one that was the same color of the paint and that obviously didn't show up and then I tried one that's a little bit darker just adding a little bit of the darker paint right here and I think that's that's the one I'm gonna end up going with, but it was a lot of trial and error, clearly. I'm just going to wait for this to dry a little bit and then I'm going to do the whole wall like that. So basically to get like the faux Venetian wall, what you're gonna do is you're gonna paint the mixture that's different than the base color and then you're gonna scrape it off with like a, some sort of scraper. So that's how you do that. So then I finished up that wall and I moved on to start staining my credenza, which as you guys know, it was a light color because it matched my last decor but I wanted it deeper for the new decor. So this wall took about two days doing the base coat and then trying to figure out how to do this like Venetian style look. But I think I got it. I'm happy with this. The perfectionist in me wants to fix a lot of little places but it's not supposed to be perfect and it's going to be covered slightly with a DIY wall art piece that I'm going to be doing as well as a shelf that I'm going to have on this wall and plus the couch is going to cover some of it so I just need to relax and let it be what it is. But uh, yeah I just wanted to show you guys the finished look of the wall and now I'm about to do a second layer of stain on this credenza so I'm gonna get started I'm going to be cleaning up my apartment today a mess up here from just the painting and all that kind of stuff so I'm gonna clean all of this up I just wanted to show you guys how cute Chai is 
<laughs> but anyway, I'm about to put this polyurethane on the top of this credenza. I don't actually know if this is what I'm supposed to use, but I found this in my storage <laughs> of stuff that random stuff that I have. So I am going to apply this with this foam brush all over the top, and then I'm going to sand it down with a light grit sandpaper, and yeah, it should be done. I actually wanted to do a completely different wall art thing design whatever you call it but now i'm not feeling that anymore so i want to look up some ideas i don't know if i've actually said the style that i'm leaning most towards for this design is more wabi sabi anyway i'm looking up on pinterest wabi sabi wall art because i just want to see kind of what's going on kind of like this but i don't know if i would be able to recreate that right there so let's just keep it in mind i should save it let's save it I want something super simple. Like a lot of this is too intense. Cause you know, you're putting in whatever design you're going for, you put that in and it gives you like kind of what you want. Sometimes it's spot on, sometimes it's not. That's nice. But how do I do that? You know, this is nice. I feel like that's like watercolor. And I guess I could kind of make a water watercolor thing. I'm wondering, see this is giving me an idea. Hold on. I have these leftover cheesecloths and I'm wondering if I soak these and then glue these on like on top of each other overlapping and it would give like kind of that worn texture. I think I might do that. So now that I have that idea, now I'm going to actually clean up. I am literally so tired. I feel like I'm sleep talking and sleepwalking but I have so much more that I want to do okay I am mostly cleaned up but I need to get a few things done before I can fully be clean so the first thing that I need to do is create a little template because I don't have a long enough piece I'm going to create a piece long enough using these two pieces of box and I'm just gonna staple it together because I used all my tape when moving and then I'm going to take my wall show so you guys see these two holes right here on both sides because I don't have any help I'm going to have to just create a template that I'm gonna put on the wall in order to see how far the holes need to be apart a line right here, the line right here. So right above those two marks, I'm going to put my screw and anchor and all that stuff. So I first make sure that I leveled it off so it was leveled and straight, not crooked. And then I'm mounting the screws and the shelf. I was thinking about it the other day. This is the first time I've painted a wall. Probably about 13, 14 years. I painted my room when I was younger. I don't know why my parents let me do that. <laughs> I mean, why not, I guess. I made a lot of mistakes back then, too. My room was like this light blue color, and it was paint all over the edges, like right where the wall meets the ceiling and on the baseboards, and it stayed like that. <laughs> but anyway, I'm much better these days, I guess, and I'm just taking off the painter's tape, and I'm so happy with how it turned out. Oh my goodness, you guys, what a difference taking the tape off makes. Like, it looks so so good. It didn't take that long to like completely transform this wall. Like, do y'all remember what this wall used to look like? Like this. You still like this. So crazy. Then it was time to put the lamp back in the room and move the sofa back against the wall and the ottoman, coffee table, credenza, all that stuff back where it goes. Trigger warning for the next clips. If you are a librarian or an avid book lover, which I love books too, this part might hurt your feelings, but I'm doing like this book project throughout this video. So this was kind of like part one of that. So I'll explain more towards the end of the video. I'm at Ikea. It's the same day as earlier just change shirts kind of loud in here i'm in like the parking area i'm going to see if i want a rug i saw from here online see if i want it and check it out in person <clears throat> it's so loud in here i'm sorry but i'm about to walk in there <laughs> said hi <laughs> you know people shock me every day but anyway i walked into ikea now i'm gonna find the rug section this is actually only my second time being in this ikea so i don't know where to go and i don't see the map like how the one back home is i'm just gonna walk around and stumble upon the rugs I finally found the rug department it took me forever but i'm here i'm gonna check out that one that one i think that's the same one like right there so this 
rug is actually much softer than I thought from far away, but I wish it was like laid out. Five by eight, basically. So this is the bigger one. I think this is exactly what I want. Okay, let's see. It says it's water resistant and made for easy care. I don't know. It'll be just my luck that this is out of stock. So let me try to look for this. They have it. I hope this fits in my car. My car is kind of tiny, but we're getting it. It honestly does not make sense that I just got back in the house from Ikea. And now I'm about to order some food. Like I definitely could have got some food while I was out. I couldn't think of what I wanted. And then what I wanted, I did not want to sit and wait on, which is such a lame excuse. So I'm gonna order this food and then I am going to lay down the rug. So believe it or not, originally I didn't want a rug, but then I felt like the room was missing something and it was definitely a rug. So I got a rug. Called my mom and we got the rug in the right placement. So that is all I'm gonna do today because <laughs> I am hot. See you guys tomorrow. So today I actually hired someone from Thumbtack to come mount my TV. So that's what he's doing and this is going back to the book project. So I took all the covers off the book and then I'm staining the edges to go on what used to be my bar cart. Now it's just gonna have like these books on it. I got all these books from Goodwill and they're still readable. So I guess please don't have your feelings hurt too bad. But I also put some of the books on the shelf on the wall. Now this is my favorite project in the whole video. This is the DIY wall piece. It turned out pretty much like something you would buy like a or something that could be in an art museum if I do say so myself <laughs> I mix like two paints together to create this base color that's gonna cover the canvas and I mixed it in with water to thin it out a bit so it's not like too harsh and then I went in with the different cheesecloths and soaked them in various mixtures of paints all of them kind of had different mixtures some of them I even did wood stain like you guys can see here and then I went ahead and added Mod Podge to the edges of each of the cheesecloths and I kind of wish I didn't do that because you can kind of see it in some light. Even though it was the matte version, it still kind of shows. But I really like the results of the Gorilla Glue spray adhesive. So I definitely recommend that. I am so excited because I just finished. Well, actually, before I left, I finished the DIY wall art. And I'm back and it looks dry enough for me to hang it on the wall and let it finish drying. I'm super excited. So let's do that. Oh my goodness, it looks amazing. I'm like so impressed with myself. <laughs> I am literally so impressed. Like I'm so over here to my own horn. So this next thing is actually pretty funny because I was in PetSmart. I really didn't have a reason to go in there, but Chad was with me when I went to go pick up my Target order. And I was like, okay, let's just run in PetSmart. I literally didn't need anything or he didn't need anything, but I just went in there to kind of walk around and see if like there was a toy or something for him. So I got him a toy, but also I saw this. This is actually like a little hide. I hate to even tell you guys this because then you're never gonna be able to unsee this, which I'm having a difficult time unseeing the fact that this is a hide. But if you know anything about like lizards and stuff like that, you can use this as a little hide in their cage. Actually in like this new collection that has very modern pieces to use in the cage to kind of make it flow with traditional style decor. Not traditional meaning the traditional style of decor, but like more updated style of decor that people would do. I'm definitely gonna paint it. I'm about to see if it looks right. So I'm gonna try to put it on this shelf here. So right now we're kind of just looking at the shape to see if we like the shape and the style. It's actually too big to sit on there. I don't even think I like it right there. That might not look half bad to be honest once it's painted. I opened this up halfway before showing you but this just got delivered from Amazon. I ordered some curtains and I threw them in the dryer and let them sit in there for about 30 minutes so that I wouldn't have to like steam them or anything and it worked perfectly. So that's me setting them up and I'm so happy with the color. Hi guys. I actually decided that I also want to do my kitchen with you guys in this video. It's gonna be like a shorter portion than the living room because I'm not gonna do much in the kitchen. So I thought I would just include it in this video. I want to create, I'm gonna put up a picture right here of what I wanna create on the lights on top of my island. Last week I went to Hobby Lobby to try to get the greenery for it, but none of it was on sale. And as you guys know, at Hobby Lobby, if it's not on sale this week, it's gonna be on sale next week. So today I'm going in, I already checked and it is on sale, it's 50% off. Okay, 
I am now in Hobby Lobby. And like I said last week, this stuff was not 50% off. And now it is. Okay, so I just got everything and now I'm blasting the air. So I hope you guys can hear me. It is so hot. It was funny because she rang everything up and she was like, okay, your total is 480 some dollars. And I was looking at her like, girl, no it ain't. And I just made a face like stunned. And then she was like, Oh, hold on, I think I messed up something. Like, so calm. And I'm like, yes, girl, you messed up something. Ended up being 156, which is still kind of expensive, but not 480 something dollars. Now I'm going to Home Depot, which I'm not gonna film because it, I'm not getting anything for the living room. So I'm gonna do that. And I miss Chai so much. I wish, I kinda wanna go get him and then take him to Home Depot with me. But like, Home Depot is two minutes from me right now. And my home is like, 10 11 minutes from here so we'll be going out the way to come back over here i really want to go get him i miss my bb what do i want to do let me just go to home depot i'm really over here contemplating i was contemplating when i was in hobby lobby too i was like do i want to go get chai let me just go to home depot not think about him go to home depot be really quick and then go home to see my bb Okay, so I did not go to Home Depot. I am reunited with my baby. So I'm gonna go to Home Depot later and I'm gonna take him with me. I'm gonna start on the greenery thing above the lights. My sweet boy. I'm gonna use this stick right here. This is the extender that I use to paint the wall. I don't know, I keep going back and forth in my mind about painting the other walls. I like the fact that the other walls are a brighter color because I'm afraid if I paint like the other two walls, the brown color and might make that room look really dark. I really like the fact that it's an accent wall, but I'm wondering if the other walls should be a different color, like a different lighter brown, maybe the base color that I use. I'm really thinking out loud. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments on what I should do. Maybe I could do that in a, like a video a few months from now. I don't even know why I talked about that. Oh, because of this. Because if I was to do that, I would need this stick. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do is attach the greenery to this <laughs> after that long drawn out explanation of those two walls. But still, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I'm going to attach up here. I'm gonna like do a time lapse on this because I don't know what I'm doing enough to do a tutorial. So you guys just watch and see how I end up doing it. You know, I said the DIY wall art was my favorite part, but this was my favorite part too. So I got two favorites. <laughs> this was so much fun to create and it looks so good. It does take away some of the light in the room, but it's worth it. All right, so my hair probably looks all types of crazy because I just fluffed it out really quickly because I've been laying down watching The Center on Netflix. It's a new season. My coffee table and my faux olive tree just delivered. So I'm gonna set both of those out right now. I'm super excited. I was so glad glad to unbox this olive tree and my coffee table like they really just added so much to the room I really felt like it was coming together and yeah it just looks really good the olive tree actually is inexpensive for the height so you guys should check that out and the coffee table amazing okay so I just went and picked up my pendant lampshade I may or may not have to stain it to match the decor, but we're gonna try it out. Okay, so here's the dilemma. This piece right here is too small to go all the way up so that I can screw this thing on there. So I'm about to take this down. I just wanted to kind of see what it looks like. I'm gonna try to figure out if I can make this work. All right, you guys, it is a couple days later. I don't actually know if this is a great idea, but what I'm gonna try to do, cut this like make a little cut in this circle ring thing so that I can try to get it to fit around the thing. So I'm gonna try, but this is metal. It ain't even remotely working. We have made it to Home Depot. I didn't even tell you guys where we were going. I brought Chai with me. There he is. He's literally so excited. He's trying to get to everybody in the store. But anyway, let's get to it while we're here. I am going to get one of these metal cutters. I think I'm gonna get this one right here. It looks like it's gonna be strong enough to do what I need to do. Okay, here they are. Oh my goodness, I'm kind of scared of these. Oh my gosh. It's not even cutting it. Bro, I heard you say. It's not even kind of doing it. Do you think it's the user or the product? I 
I'm actually about to go to the Steelers game. They played the Dolphins tonight. I have maybe 15 minutes <laughs> before I need to start getting dressed. I'm just gonna throw on my dress. I already have my makeup on. I want to kind of get started with putting together one of my bar stools. Well, I only bought one bar stool because I wasn't quite sure if I was gonna like them, but I didn't realize I was gonna have to put it together. I'm about to stain the lamp. I have the stain that I'm gonna use that I've been using for everything to keep it cohesive. I'm gonna do the lazy way and just cover my couch with this tarp because I really don't feel like moving that piece of the sofa. Even though it's really simple to move, I just don't feel like it. So we're gonna use this tarp. Ignore the mess over there, but the next project we're gonna tackle tonight is I'm going to paint these vases. These vases were on this bookshelf and I actually got these from various people on Facebook Marketplace. That's all that's gonna be on this bookshelf. I've already painted some of these. I'm going to mix the paint mixture that I come up with with some baking soda to get the texture that I want and then get to painting. Okay, Miss Picasso again. I'm mixing together some paints and I wanted like a greenish color. I ended up completing all the other vases off camera, but I just kind of showed you guys how the color came out and what it looks like on the first view. It took me entirely too long to put together these chairs, but I finally got all the chairs put together. Ignore the messy background. These are the chairs here. Finished painting these vases. These vases will be complete today. And also this vase right here that I just got from Home Goods. I bought some air dry clay. I want to make this vase a little bit more of an organic shape. So that's what we're gonna do with that. And then I need to stain these books. So this was kind of fun to do as well. I just created more organicness to the vase. And then I started painting the lizard hide. <laughs> I really shouldn't call it that. So I did that and then I started noticing something with the vase. Air dry clay actually cracked in a lot of places and I don't have any more air dry clay. So I'm just gonna try to paint over it and hopefully it's gonna look not too bad. I put away all the vases. And now we're back to the vase. I am laughing in these clips because I was on the phone with my mom. She's so funny, ha ha ha. <laughs> anyway, I'm using the same mixture that I used for the lizard hide. And then the next morning I got down to business because this was the last day. I'm gonna stain the edges and then I'm gonna realize once I put them on the bookshelf and kind of have them in their placement that I'm gonna need to stain them more. This is how this shelf is looking. I'm gonna go in and kind of fill in like these little areas that's showing that doesn't have any stain on it. So as I said, that was the last day of the complete makeover. So are you guys ready to see the results? At the beginning of the video, I gave you guys a little teaser, but now I'm going to reveal to you how it turned out. I'm literally looking at it right now. So if you guys want to see how it turned out, make sure that you thumbs up this video and I will reveal it to you right now. Oh my goodness, you guys. I absolutely love how it turned out. I'm so glad that I finally shared it with you guys. So now I can film in here. Like it has been so difficult not to show this to you guys because it's been done for a while. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and sticking with me even though I haven't been as active over here. Make sure that you subscribe and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And I promise I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.